guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Queen and today's video will be 10 tips that I feel that you should know when moving to a different state. So like I always state in every video in the beginning, these things that I will be stating are based off of my personal opinion. Everybody may think different. And you know, we're all entitled to our own personal opinions. But I just wanted to share with you guys 10 tips that I think you should know, you know, before you move to another state. So let's just get into it. So the first tip I will say is you definitely want to make sure before you relocate that you save money. Very important because that, of course, is going to be your way of livelihood. So, you know, it's common sense, but that's just the number one thing on the list that I think is the most important. Also, before you move, I would definitely have like a set living arrangement, like already know where you're living, already have everything set up or wherever you're moving into, like just depending on your situation, whatever it is, just make sure that before you go, you have a set living situation so that when you get there, you don't have to be stressed out about anything. But of course, once again, that's kind of like common sense. I'm sure we all know. I would also say that before you move or before you decide where you are going to choose to live, I would definitely say research the area. Like just to make sure like the area is really good and you know that you're going to be safe because you're going to be in a new city where you probably don't know anybody. And if you do know somebody, it's not like a lot of people. So just do your research on the area that you'll be moving in. Another tip that I would like to give you is to have employment before you go. You know, depending on what you do, you may be able to wing it. Like if you're like a bartender or server or something like that, you could like kind of hop out there, you know, you have some money saved and just kind of go with the flow of things. But I was still have something lined up before I relocated just because it makes it where things are like less stressful and just easier on you. And it'll be like an easy transition. You know, you'll be able to worry about other things versus stressing behind employment. Another tip is I would say, be open-minded, be very open-minded. Um, wherever you move, it's gonna be different. It's not going to be like where you were before. So, you know, every city has different things to offer. So, you know, be open to new things, be open to new people because things will definitely be different. So as long as you have like an open mind about things, you'll have a better experience. And even if you say, you know, uh, this isn't for me, you can have your best experience by being more open minded. Um, another thing I would say is be open to like, you know, network. Networking in a new city is like major because you are new to this place. You're trying to explore, get familiar with this. So if you like know people, you'll be more likely to probably go out and explore. And then you'll get a real feel from the city because either they've been there longer than you or they may be from the city so they can show you what the city has to offer. So that's also good. Um, I would also add to that like exploring, like even if you don't want to like get out and network and meet people and, you know, mix and mingle and things, just explore. See what the city has to offer. If you see what the city has to offer, then you'll see that city for its full potential. If you're in your house all day or you only go home and work, you're not going to be able to get the full experience of the city. So exploring is very important. A really big factor about relocating, try not to stress. I've said this in probably my last video as well, that the first year when you move to a new city will probably be a little stressful. It may be, it may not be, you know, like I said, everybody experience is different, but I've lived in like, you know, like six different cities and I have noticed that the first year may be like, you know, sometimes a little rocky. Other cities, maybe not so much other cities more than others, but there'll be like different stress factors or whatever that'll come about because you are somewhere new and it is an adjustment, you know, and you have to adapt to your new environment. So that's just what comes with it. You know, some of my suggestions for dealing with stress are, you know, yoga, you know, working out, finding a new hobby, you know, maybe it's something that you could do there that you never did in another city, you know, that you can use to help you enjoy your new atmosphere. 
you know, it's all up to you on what you like to do. Or you can explore into new things and find out something new that you like to do that you never knew that you like to do, you know? Because you're in a new place. So you can always, like, try new things. I also would like to emphasize, emphasize, sorry about that, that you should at least give the city that you're moving to at least a year or two a fair shot the first year may be smooth the first year may be rough but if the first year is rough but you like it then maybe you should try another year you know just to give yourself some time you know to get like settled get adapted and get some things going for yourself out there you know so i feel like the second year will genuinely probably be a better year than the first year but the first year could be amazing it just depends on your your situation and how things may go but that's just something that i would definitely say like definitely give it some time if you feel like the place has potential for you to grow and it may not be working overnight just you know give it a little bit of time just give it some time i would give it at least one to two years and then after that if you still feel like it's not for you then you know don't be afraid to leave I emphasize on not being afraid to leave because one thing about me is I'm never afraid to leave. I will leave somewhere so fast. Like if I feel like, oh, this isn't for me, I feel like life is too short to be stuck somewhere where you're unhappy. Um, you can find pros and cons with everywhere that you may live, but if you don't like it, then leave. The world is so big. Explore. Move somewhere else. Try something new. I just feel like you shouldn't get stuck. You know, if you feel like it's really not for you, then I would definitely say leave and relocate. And I would say also, this is major. Don't feel like just because you relocated and this may be your first time relocating, that just because this city wasn't for you, that moving somewhere else isn't for you because that's not true. That specific place may not be for you. It may be for you. Or if you feel like you might need to leave and go back home to your original city and regroup, and then figure out where you really need to be. That's a great idea too. So that's all I'll say about that, you guys. This is just like a quick little video just to give, you know, some tips out there on, you know, just getting out there, relocating to a new state. If you guys would like to see like a part two video of this, or if you guys want me to go into specific details on like, you know, this type of video, then let me know, like leave me a comment. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below. And until next time, you guys, bye.